Hello YouTubers. Hey, um, I have decided that to do a little teaser video because just this morning I had two or three people message me and ask me, come on, come on, when's, this, when's the next video happening? Well, um, I'm a bit short on a few things that I need for the next stage, but I thought I'll do something just to try and keep people happy. So what I've done is um, put the machine together, fired it up, and cooked some plastic just to see how it went. The results coming up in a minute. Sorry about the noise, but you can see, even though the thing's now going full noise, there is absolutely no smoke coming out of the chimney. Unfortunately, I haven't completed the rest of the, of the piping, so the flammable gas is exiting to atmosphere at the moment, but I need to see how much I'm producing. I've just put a pot over the top of here so that I can make it condense and it is condensing into a flammable liquid. The temperature of the chamber is currently 157, 160. The temperature of the chimney, we're looking at uh, 85, 90 cooling down towards the top 
top. At the top we've got, crikey I can't read this, only 25, 50 degrees. That's better, there we go. 50 degrees at the top of the chimney. in the vaporization chamber lots of vapor being produced the combustion temperature is currently 365 360 back of the chamber we're looking at about the same 370 Going great guns. Very, very happy with all this. This piece of piping will be attached to the condenser and this will allow me to separate the devil's brew which is the first few minutes worth of production before we reach temperature. It will allow me to separate that from the real diesel. The sight glass here, I'll be able to see the product dripping through the pipes and adjust the valves appropriately. So there we go, machine's cooled down now. I've taken the lid off so we can have a look inside. Uh, can we do it with this camera? Can we see? Yes, we can see. There you go, all the plastic's gone. That was absolutely full, it's now empty. There's still a puddle of uh, residue in the bottom. Uh, I stopped the burn early, so we'd get some more out of that if we were to keep on going. You'll see round here that I've got a, a double labyrinth seal added on here now from two steel bands. That's going to provide an airtight seal when I get the fiberglass rope tucked into the bottom of it. It's the same fiberglass rope that goes around the door of the wood fireplaces for making them gas tight. And the whole lid will have a clamping mechanism to pull it down tight. You can see at the moment that I've got bleed out around here. I've had lots of leaks all the way round and that's something I'm going to be attending to when I put the insulation on the drum. We need the insulation to keep the heat in because I'm only getting this up to 150, 160 degrees. I've got to achieve 350 degrees. So we've got to get some more heat into this thing, but that's going to be the subject of the next video. If this video was any good to you, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of it, subscribe to the channel and then um, next week week after down the track all the other interesting stuff that I get into you'll be able to keep uh, an eye on and keep an eye on me too somebody needs to do that I'm here all alone the trouble I get into when I'm here by myself oh well okay that's it from tiny house off grid resources thank you very much don't forget hit the subscribe button down the bottom see ya